In this video, we're going to learn the difference between the %f and %lf format specifiers in C. So the %f and %lf format specifiers are used in functions like printf and scanf in C. We use these format specifiers when working with doubles and floats, but when do we use which format specifier and why? So first, let's go over printf. Let's declare a double variable called double underscore number, and we'll assign it the value 20.4. Then we'll declare a float variable called float underscore number, and we'll assign it the value 20.4. Now in the case of printf, we're going to use percent %f for both doubles and floats. So we'll have printf double underscore number colon percent %f backslash n, and we're going to output double number. Then we'll do the same thing with float number. So we'll have float number percent f backslash n and we'll output float number. Now if we save compile and run the program, it's going to work in both cases. We get 20.4. So why is this? So the reason this works is that any float value we pass the printf is going to actually be promoted to a double value. So this float number here, 20.4, is ultimately converted to a double. And then printf is going to use that double value here. So percent %f is what we're going to use for both doubles and floats in the case of printf. Now that's actually true for any function in C that accepts a variable number of arguments as printf does. So printf accepts a variable number of arguments. We could have percent %d here, and then printf would accept, say, an int value here, like two. And the exact number of arguments that printf accepts actually varies. So for any function, that accepts a variable number of arguments, float arguments are going to be converted to double values. And that's just part of the C standard. That's just how it works. It's how they defined it. So that's why this is the case. We just use percent %f for both doubles and floats in the case of printf. Now, if we use LF, it should be okay. We could put LF here for both double and float. And we can save compile and run the program and we'll get 20.4. So in the C99 standard, it's explicitly defined that using the L length subspecifier in conjunction with F will have no effect. So LF is completely equivalent with F. Now, the reason why I said we should be okay is that the older standard of C, C89, does not guarantee this. In C89, using L with F like this has undefined behavior. So if we want our code to conform to the old standard, using LF could cause an issue. Now you might notice with different numbers, like say for example, 45.12, that if we save compile and run this, we get slightly different numbers in the case of double number and float number. Double number is 45.12, but float number is 45.119999. So what's going on there has nothing to do with the format specifier. That has to do with the difference between doubles and floats. So doubles store numbers with a greater amount of precision. So doubles can more accurately represent numbers with decimal places than float. So that's why the number is different in the case of double versus float. It has nothing to do with the format specifier. Now in the case of scanf, it's a bit simpler. We use F for floats and LF for doubles. Let's test that out. I'll just assign zero to both of these variables now, and I'll modify these. We'll turn these into prompts. So we'll prompt the user to enter a double number instead of outputting a double number. And then we'll use a scanf with the format specifier percent %lf, because here we want to read in a double number and store it into the double number variable. So we're going to have and double underscore number here. Then we'll do the same thing with float number. We'll have float number colon to prompt the user to enter in the float number. Then we'll have scanf. And this time we're going to use the percent %f format specifier because we're going to read in a float value. So we're going to have and float underscore number here. And then we can output both of the numbers 
after we've read them in with scanf here. So we'll have printf, and we'll output double underscore number. We'll have percent f backslash n, and we'll output double number. And then we'll do the same thing with float number. So I'll have printf float underscore number percent f backslash n, and then float underscore number. And if we save, compile, and run the program, I can enter in 20.4 and 20.4, and we get the correct output here for double number and float number. If I tried to use percent f here with this double number, if we save, compile, and run the program, it's not going to work. I'll put in 20.4 for both numbers again. But notice in the case of double number, I now have an incorrect value. So with a double value, we have to use LF in the case of scanf. Now in the case of printf, we had said that because printf was a function that accepts a variable number of arguments, that the float value here was gonna be promoted to a double value. Now remember in the case of scanf, we're not passing in doubles and floats. What we're passing in is pointers to doubles and floats. So that's why that rule doesn't really matter in the case of scanf. So that's the difference between the F and LF format specifiers in C, as well as when and how we should use them. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.